Hello everybody, welcome back. After that little time lapse, I hope you enjoyed it. As you can see over here, we have $110,000. Time lapse did not go that far, but we did do a little bit of a stream going back um, a few days. And we have one more job. We need 118000 And this dynamite right here is going to get there. So go ahead and we'll do this job. Okay, we are driving a freight liner. We got 234 miles, that's not too bad. We're up and ready. Um, let's see. We need to go up and around, it looks like. Okay, let's go ahead and figure out who's coming. Looks like we should be okay. Might as well turn on our blinker just in case. Now, as we start this 230 some mile journey, it appears that we should be at the point where we can buy our own truck. That's gonna be really good because I want my Peterbilt. We are going to get a Peterbilt, um, the Peterbilt 389. That's the boxier one. And I'm very, very, very excited for that. And it's green, but I'm going slow. Come on, let's pick it up. Well, the pickup on this one is not very good. And of course we come up to yet another stoplight. Although I will say that power plant, not power plant, chemical plant of some kind. It looks pretty awesome. What? Why'd they all just disappear? I don't understand that. That happens quite a bit. Now, obviously, driving this dynamite is kind of dangerous. I don't know what happens in game if I crash. But I don't want to find out. So we'll be careful. It's very weird seeing these on the map. I'm just going to run that red light. A little unfortunate. I am hoping I would make it through. This is probably one of the better freeway entrances that they have. Unfortunately, it is uphill. And let me tell you, we going slow getting up this hill. Well, we probably should slow down just a little bit. Our toll has been paid by our employer, which is good because I don't want to pay it. Now, I don't know how that changes when we own our own truck. What in the world? There is a downed plane. Look at that. And it crashed. Of course it did. Straight roads are definitely the hardest thing. Because you see, I'm barely moving my mouse and it's just all over the place. Alright, here we are. All we need to do is park it and we will have our money. Might as well go for it. So it's right there in front of us. And we just have to back into that spot. Now I know I tried this on one of them. One of the deliveries on the stream, I can't do it on this one, but I will use this as my view. Alright, look at that. Let's hope that that was actually enough money after that red light. Oh, and we got our level 8. Which means I can explain that I'm switching over to Hazardous Cargo. And that is mostly because I'm familiar with most of these. And I, as a chemist, have worked with all of these and have looked at all these symbols. But I'm going to go through them. So we have explosives, which were class 1. And then class 2 were gases. And now class 3, we're going to do flammable liquids. Now, I'm not sure if you actually get any money benefit off of these or not, but I do think that's pretty fun that we can do some hazardous cargo. So let's apply it. And we have $119,000 as you can see right here. I think it's time we go buy a truck. Go to truck dealers, Peterbilt, down here, buy online maybe. We are gonna buy that one. Hmm, can't do any of the cabins. We have the money for it. Oh, here we go. Money's down on the bottom left. It's already above our price point. But for now, I guess we're just stick with the 6x2. Right now, we're buying a 10-speed. And if we opt 
four. Can we afford that? We can. We get a lot more normal cargo, a little more maneuverability, and uneven terrain. And obviously that one is, is going to be even better until we get all the way down there. Let's go ahead and upgrade the transmission. What do we think in black? We could always do blue and get some money back. I like black. I like black. We're going to keep it on black. Can I afford that? No, I cannot. How do we get rid of that one, though? Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. So, don't click on stuff unless you are ready. So, we want black. And then we are upgrading the transmission, right? Is that what I said? There we go. Get a lot more. Let's see, let's see, let's come this way. Nice little angle. So our truck configuration over here. Torque, 1300, roughly, pounds feet, pound foot. Don't know which one you say for that one. 370 horsepower, 13 gears. Uh, gear ratios, don't really care. I think all of it looks pretty good. We are mainly normal cargo. A little bit of uh, heavy cargo for now. Let's confirm it. Oh, we couldn't even buy those if we wanted. And let's purchase it, shall we? Oh, wait a minute. What's this? My fleet configurations? Nah. Oh, no. Am I going to have to redo that again? All right, I'm learning. We have our Peterbilt 389 day cab and... Purchase it. Well, this is my only one, right? Yeah, I only have this garage. Okay, Peterbilt to Fresno. Then pick the target slot. Well, that'd be me. We'll click OK. We will deliver your newly bought truck to your garage in Fresno immediately. Please note that all trucks bought here have regular insurance paid already. That's good, because we have $34. All right, let's go out of this. Trailer purchase. We, uh... We don't have a trailer that we can purchase with $34. This opens up the freight market. Oh, look at those. Look at those. $12,000. We are increasing our prices rapidly. So do I have to get to Reading? Is that how it works? Maybe. Oh, but I can drive now too. Okay. So let's see. Where's my... So I have all of these. Which is great. Truck manager. Sell, upgrade, copy the configuration. Don't care. Map view, it's in Fresno. So what if I do a quick job? We're an external contract. Not connected to World of Trucks. Ah, uh, we can do that later. Okay, so it looks like quick jobs are still pretty cheap, but the freight market, dynamite. Okay, set as GPS destination, so I have to get there. And in this case, so it's the same one. I don't have any money for gas. I think we're going to have to take the quick job, but I'm going to end the episode here if I could figure out how to get my truck to show up. Alright, we will end it here with taking a picture. Now, is it just outside? Yeah, okay. Oh, that's what I hit. I'm trying to figure out what in the world I had done. Okay. A little bright. Okay, after a long time of looking for a good camera angle, I think this, I think up and then a little down. We'll see how that goes. I think that one looks pretty, pretty good. We'll download that one later. All right. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Looks like we have our truck all updated right here and ready to go. I hope you enjoyed seeing me get my first truck. And now we are going to go for a long, long time. Make a lot of money. Hire a lot of drivers. I will see you all in the next episode. Peace.